What is going on, guys? And welcome back to yet another Dislight Excerpt Radio event! That's right, the Truth Unveiled has finally released yesterday, but sadly my iPad was, one, on charge, and two, I don't know about the second option. So anyway, for those who don't know, Truth Unveiled features the history between how uh, Li Ling was in the past. Now, what we're doing is we're going through chapter one. I nearly did chapter two by accident, so thankfully I corrected that error. So chapter two is going to be happening tomorrow, uh, and it's possible chapter three might actually happen on Friday. Now, because of this, um, tomorrow, normally I would do a Roblox video tomorrow, but I don't know what's going to be happening yet. I mean, there's a possibility I'll do a Roblox video Friday, but I know it's going to be one on Saturday, which is a live stream till midnight. But we're not talking about that in this video. We're talking about Chapter 1. But before we do dive into Chapter 1, there's a few differences that we want to, that I want to simply go through first. But before those even happen, um, I'm going to be putting everything in a certain order. So. To start things off, you're probably stumped in... For those who probably watched my reaction video, um, last week sometime, was when I reacted to the trailer for the entire Truth Unveiled event, or, like, the story behind it, and all. Well, I've got some good news for you. Thank goodness the devs that disliked actually thought about this, but you can review the story chapters at the start of the game event so if you never attended the um the voting bit uh thankfully you can actually watch those and what i'm going to do is we're going to start off by watching those clips so the first few clips are going to be of just the the first two clips so if you've already seen them all uh this is a timestamp that's going to lead you to the second segment of this video of me talking because all i'm going to talk about is just the first two bits anyway here are the two intros for like here are the two video clips from the voting event. Let's begin.
That was ten years ago. At that time, I was fearless. Because I had just become an esper. <laughs> I just wanted to have fun. I started a lot of fights after getting my divine powers. I even claimed that I would raise hell throughout Tang Tong. I defeated all kinds of espers and martial artists. But in the end, I lost to a regular person. Go home, young man. The results will be the same no matter how many times you come. What's your name? Yun Chuan. Yun Chuan. Can I be your disciple? Ever since then, he became my master. Yuan Chuan is powerful but gentle. His fighting style reminds me of the sea, seemingly able to encompass everything. No matter what I did, he would nullify all of my attacks. You must be wondering, why can't you beat an ordinary person when you have divine powers? Using brute force to solve everything is easy, but... To become stronger, you must first learn how to control your power. So... I don't want you causing any more trouble after tomorrow. After he convinced me, I clung to his side every day. He carried many fascinating things. Things from the world outside of Tang Tong. One day, I'm going to be like you and go see the outside world. Well, when that day comes, I will see you off. At that time, neither of us had any idea what was about to happen. Yuan Chuan fulfilled his promise. The last time I saw him was when we parted ways ten years ago. After making a name for myself, I felt like I understood the things that Master had taught me. Master! I did it! Master! Don't ever bring up that name again. It was then that I learned that Yuan Chuan had been in prison in the Nether Jail. A prison for the worst criminals. His crime was unknown. The day before his detention, there was a false alarm at the sentry tower by the Oversea Cliffs, just like today. It resulted in a stampede that led to many deaths. What crime did Master commit? This is a matter of great importance and does not concern a child like you. You don't need to know about it. Master is the most upright person in the world. He doesn't have a bad bone in his body. If you don't tell me the truth, I'll just go find out myself. I want to see you in Chuan. Wait. Huh? This prisoner you're asking to see He's dead.
you understand the story now? If so, congratulations. But if not, that's okay, because not even I understand the story. Except for, like, Li Ling being the apprentice of Yon Xuan. In fact, there's a raid boss themed around him. We're not going to talk about him, though. We're going to talk about what's happening next. So, the next segment is going to be the first video part that I actually recorded before everything else. So, here's the clip of me doing the maze, the, the map thing. Now, I just want to quickly clarify this. The aim of these maps isn't to get 100%. It's to just go through the story, uh, not take on all the, the challenges. If I don't get all the challenges done, that's okay. Um, because this whole chapter is a whole different, unique perspective, in my opinion. Because usually I'm used to using my whole entire good team to just pummel through stories. Well, it turns out this time around's a bit more of a difference, in my opinion. Oh, and also, they nerfed, um, with the nerf of Selene. I'll talk about that at the end. Tastes like. Use our powers to help others. If I do not use it, for my parents, I'm gonna make some way. Walk the path because I find a change.
Where am I? You will face your deepest fears and another side of yourself. Master! You have to face it and overcome it. To become stronger, you must first learn how to control your power. True strength ah! is when you use your power to help others. Now I understand what my master was trying to teach me. But just now, what was he trying to say in my dream? I'll find the answer in the nether jail. This time, I will find the truth. I'll find you.
When I first saw the guy, he was lying on the side of the street. He looked filthy and seemed to be starving. Eat up and go find a job. When I saw him again, he was already detained. This guy hit someone from the Tang family and didn't hold back at all. But no matter how they interrogated him, he didn't say a word. Let me talk to him. I walked into the interrogation room. And he started talking after staring at me for a while. That bastard was a loan shark and pressured Grandpa Chen until he died. Grandpa Chen was a good man. He took me in and fed me. 
If good people in this world end up like this, then I'll use my fists to punish the bad guys. This is my version of justice. Why are you telling me this now when you had the chance to tell them earlier? I didn't want you to think that you saved a bad guy. Let him go. But the Tank family... I'll deal with it. Why do this for me? Hmm. Why? Maybe because... I'm a little jealous. Now, I want to give you a job. How about it? On that day, sirens could be heard from the oversea cliffs to Tang Tai. Everyone was unprepared, which led to a stampede. Many lives were lost. However, that was just a false alarm. The miracle was stable as usual, and no Miramon descended. Yun Chuan was on duty when the incident occurred. An intruder must have set off the alarm. Where is Young Twine? The sentry tower was in a mess when I got there after the incident. I didn't see him anywhere. That was a very serious incident. The League group declared that they would catch the culprits, but no one has been caught after so many years. As for Yun Chuan, who disappeared that day, I found out later that he had already died in prison.
So, you're probably asking yourself, why did you stop recording at that point? Well, this is my answer. As soon as I stopped recording, I was like, huh, why is this percentage that three? And then I exit the map and I go, oh shoot, that's chapter two, which is going to be the video that's done next episode. Not this episode. My whole entire series isn't to just sweep the entire story. It's to create parts so people can go, oh, this is chapter one. I'll be excited for when chapter two releases as its own video. I'm not going to go, chapter one, two, three, boss fight, mazes, big chungus. No, I'm not doing that entire thing. I'm only doing it once and then, well, off camera, I might go back to chapter one and grab whatever I missed. So anyways, now, uh, there are two things I'm going to quickly mention. First thing is, Yun Xuan is a raid boss for this event, which caught me off guard by a long shot, because I literally was like, oh, it's going to be this powerful Myramon type character. No, apparently not. Yun Xuan is the raid boss, but we're not going to see him in this video. Nope, because if I go over to where the video is, it's eight minutes long. Am I looking at the right file? Yeah, I'm looking at the right file. Okay, uh, huh. I didn't think it was going to be just eight minutes long. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I'm going to be uploading... That is my first attempt, but later in the day, I'm going to do the remaining four bits. I just want to get all the main story parts onto my computer, and then I'll... There's going to be a video based around Yun Chuan being the raid boss. Okay? So, until then... I'm going to leave this video here, and if you guys are ready for seeing a raid boss, you're going to have to wait a bit, because I'm going to record the rest of it, transfer these files, and just get on with that. So anyway, I'll see you all later. Ow, I hit my leg. Protein, low carbs, no trans fat. Yay, we're getting ducking legendary duplicates. God damn it, Ollie! What doesn't kill me only makes me stronger. So as you guys can see, we're no longer going to be seeing duplicate espers. We're going to be getting materials now to hopefully progress getting our hands on more powerful legendaries. <sighs> I'm just disappointed. I did 110. Here's what happened. I did 110 summons and I get Ollie. Why? That's the first. No, actually, no. Three duplicate legendary espers thus far. That's annoying. Well, anyways... I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you all later. That would be an annoying skip, but sadly, I'm out of my tears.